Time. Yes. How do you feel about this whole R. Kelly thing? I'm sorry? How do you feel about this whole R. Kelly thing? Oh, God. You know, the scary part is, the scary part about the whole R. Kelly thing is, I really didn't really trip too hard because, you know, I, as an artist, you know, you don't really want to say too much to put your input in. Um, but, you know, I actually went to R. Kelly's studio and um, to listen to his new album. And the sad is part Chicago, of Chicago studio? To EQs in Los Angeles, and I actually went to listen to his music, and my daughter came with me. And the sad part was, when we got home, my daughter said, Mom, someone passed me R. Kelly's number. And I'm like, what? And she was like, Mom, don't say nothing. That's why I didn't want to tell you. So I kind of like, you know, it was almost like, she's like, Mom, that's why I didn't want to say anything. That's why I didn't want to say anything. Don't say anything. So, I mean, and I didn't say anything, but, you know, it really let me know there is a real problem. It really let me know that there really is a problem because with all of that that was going on, for that to still had happened, and it happened to me, and I'm cons I was thinking I'm your friend. I come there with my daughter, who's over 21, but you don't know my daughter's age. And behind my back, you will slide my daughter your number. That's just weird to me, like a weirdo who would do that. So you've so, been hip to the game for a very long time. I haven't been hip to the game, um, but I was aware of the game. You know, and I really didn't have an opinion at first um, because I didn't know the stories. I didn't know how deep it was. I never really knew how deep it was. But it hit home when I got home. <laughs> And I realized that here I am supporting my brother in music, you know, not being judgmental. And then my daughter says, you know, I got a number. Now, just just what if my daughter had been naive and wouldn't have told me at all, wouldn't have said, Mom, someone passed me the number. What if she had said that? So I, I sympathize with the parents who are having trouble with their kids. I just thank God. You know, my daughter is like me, strong, independent, and she said something to me. Just think of how many kids don't say anything who are just, you know, in awe. Because really, if we were listening to the music. I was just like, wow, this dude is so freaking talented. Like, in awe of his album, just mesmerized, just really thinking like, wow, I see why they love him so much to get home to realize, you know, 